The following video explains a new feature in Earthworks 2.9, GNSS Receiver Logging. You will get some general information about the receiver logging, how to enable it, and how to download the data from the receiver. Why this GNSS Receiver Logging feature is required? Often the information given in the GNSS diagnostic screen of Earthworks is not enough to be able to properly troubleshoot GNSS performance issues. Therefore, um, we need to analyze raw GNSS data. This new feature allows the technician to start logging uh, GNSS data into the receiver's memory using the tech UI. In earlier versions, this was not possible. You had to apply a patch file to be able to log data to the receiver's memory. So since you are able to use the tech UI now, the logging can be started remotely. However, please be aware that downloading the data from the receiver requires a direct connection between the PC and DMS 972 or 995, whatever is on the machine. To enable logging, just open the tech UI and go to Operation GNSS Management. Move the slider to enable logging and don't forget to hit Save. You can validate that logging has actually started by monitoring the MS receiver power LED. It should now flash slowly as shown on the next short uh, video sequence. You have been probably advised how many hours of log data is required. Once you have enough data collected, uh, disable logging by restarting Earthworks. To download the log data from the receivers, you need to connect them to a PC. You can do that by using the MS service cable, part number 51942, plus a USB to zero adapter. After the connection has been made, open Device Manager on Windows and check the COM port number that has been created. After that, you also need to get the Trimble data transfer up and install it on your PC. When you run the data transfer app for the first time, you should see the following screen. What you need to do here is to create a new device, which can be done by clicking on devices. In the next screen, in the next screen, click on new to create a new device. Scroll down until you see GPS receiver RSPS 5000 series highlighted and hit OK. In the next screen, select the COM port that has been created and hit Next. And in the next screen, you should enter a name for the device. I would advise to also include the COM port number in that name. Then hit Next. And in the next screen, you select the maximum baud rate. I recommend to select the highest possible one, which is 115200. Leave all other settings at their defaults, hit next and close the next window. Select your device from the drop down list and hit the connect button. After a few seconds, the connection should have been established. After that, hit the add button, which allows access to the receiver's memory. Highlight the receiver and hit open. You should now see the available data files for download. Select one or more files. Change the destination directory if required and hit open. This will bring you back to the main screen of data transfer, showing you all the data files and their destination. Just select here transfer all and the transfer should start. Once the download of all files is finished, you should see a result summary for each downloaded file. Just click OK in each window. You can now close the data transfer app. A transfer completed windows will appear. You can just close this window or you can select more details and which will open your default text editor where you can see where the files have been stored. That's it. You can now send the downloaded TO2 or TO4 files to Trimble to be analyzed. Thank you for your attention.